psychologist and I call myself a relationship maven. I love all things relationships and I help people feel connection, joy, and ease in all their relationships with very direct, no-nonsense approach, a lot of humor, and a lot of good research and my own experience. So before I found the amazing Jada, I felt like I was the best kept secret in the world and I didn't know how to scale my business. So being a psychologist, you know, someone who was meeting with clients one-on-one -on -one all the time, and I really wanted to create way, other ways of earning income that didn't just you know, it wasn't just me working one-on-one -on -one with someone because obviously I can keep raising my prices, but at some point it's just how much I work. And I wanted to, of course, work smarter, not harder. And I couldn't figure out how to make that transition. You know, there's always some hesitations before you work with someone because you're, for me, I was thinking about, I have spent a lot of money on coaches and programs and all the things that promise all the things. I mean, I have literally spent tens of thousands of dollars over the years, easily over six figures over the years with everybody um, who's promising the thing. And so when I heard about Jada, I really, you know, I was in that same space of wondering, is this going to be just another coach I work with? And I don't really see an ROI on the other side. So that was my biggest hesitation. So huge wins overall working with Jada. I would say the biggest thing is that I have more than tripled my income in just a few years. So, I mean, if you're just looking at numbers of why you might want to work with Jada, boom, there you go. But the way she helped me do that was in, in really building a business that was sustainable, that could scale, that could grow. And I... Uh, and I have a business background, just so you know, and I, you know, it's kind of like the cobbler having no shoes for their kids or whatever that is. I couldn't seem to put together my business and psychology background enough in a way to really understand how to make this happen. And again, I had done a lot, I, everything from Anthony Robbins to Brendan Bouchard to Jeff Walker. I had done them all. I have walked on hot coals with Anthony Robbins way back in the day. I mean, it has been a long stretch, okay, of I guess white men trying to help me and not being very successful if I think about it, but, <laughs> but I have worked with female coaches before and uh, again, didn't have the results I have with Jada where there was, and she was very clear with me up front, which was great that this isn't going to be an overnight success. This isn't going to be tomorrow that you do this, but, and at the time she, she just in her no nonsense, clear, direct way worked with me and said to me, this is five years ago now, she said, um, uh, you should start a podcast. And five years ago, I, first of all, I've still never listened to podcasts. I'm not going to lie about it. I, I don't really listen. I had never even listened to one then. And she, and I'm like, no, that's crazy. And she said, you should start a podcast. And she was able to, you know, what are the top, you know, issues your clients face? You know, she was really able to help me get nitty gritty on that. Like, what would it start with? How would it start? What do I need to put into place? And so I did. I started the Relationships Made Easy podcast, which you can find anywhere now. We are in our, just started our sixth season as I'm recording this. It is in, I think, over 180 countries now. We have over a million downloads. It's consistently in the top 100. We were just number one on a good pods list of great podcasts, like indie podcast. I don't have sponsors. I sponsor it myself. I pay for it with my books and my, selling my programs and my other things that she, again, has really encouraged me to do and create. Um, I also, she encouraged me to do it. I did my TEDx that year also that I worked with her. I did my TED talk. So I put, you know, when you're scaling, right, I'm putting things into place. I'm putting the podcast out. I've got my TED talk done. I finished my book, my Amazon number one bestselling book, Be Happily Married, Even If Your Partner Won't Do a Thing. I had that, I, I finished that right after I think we ended, like literally a month later, I published that. Again, with her introductions and her help and her, you know, just helping me really put things together and who I needed to talk to and how and what I needed to know that I didn't already know to have this kind of success. So with all those things in my world now, I am able, I work with clients just a few days a week 
I don't work Mondays or Fridays with clients. Those are days that I have free and I work on my podcast and do other things and write. She also had me start a weekly newsletter, which I've since called the love letter. And that has grown and grown. And now um, we have, if you don't know, open rates, I have a 60% open rate on that, which means, which is incredible in the industry. So again, helping me, what is your message? What are you really trying to say to people? How, what are you trying to do with this? What, what do you, what do you want this to be? So all those things are now sustainable parts of my business that have been going on for years that I didn't just start a podcast like so many people and stop. I didn't just start a, a weekly newsletter and stop. I have been able to incrementally add things and keep, again, scaling my business and growing to the place I am now. And I will be at a four times as much money by the end of this year. I really started to notice when I, or feel like I've kind of been making it, you know, sort of shift, making that shift when the podcast was growing. And so I want to be clear, I've never advertised my podcast ever. I've never spent a penny on advertisements and I have a very small social media following. And I mean, very small. I'm not a social media gal. And although YouTube would count as social media and the podcast would count, but I mean, you know, Instagram, et cetera. Yeah, I'm there, but really that's, I didn't get any business from there, but really having a good podcast that was consistent. And that was always the thing Java said, you have to be consistent. When you start something, you have to be. So no matter what, my podcast has always gone out. I ne- I take a few weeks off a year. It always goes out. The newsletter always goes out. Unless I tell people, oh, I'm taking a little break or I'm going to take a few weeks off for vacation or something. But other than that, it's always there. And uh, just about a year into the podcast, it was about 11 months. I have to go back and look at my stats, but it was right about there that we suddenly had sort of a jump in the downloads. Like I, I started noticing it's, you know, it's a hockey stick, right? You know, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, and it doesn't seem like much is happening. And then all of a sudden you have sort of an overnight success, which of course we all know it's not, but then that kind of, that hockey stick kind of turned up. And I really started to see the podcast grow and it has been on an upward trend for five years. Like it has just been up and up and up and up. I mean, maybe every now and in a month, you know, it goes down a little or something, but pretty much we have very consistent growth. And that's true across all my metrics from YouTube to that, to the newsletter, to everything. It's been a a very steady upward trend. And that's again, what Jado taught me in the beginning that there's not an overnight success. Don't look for just viral or whatever. Look to put out great, consistent content that really serves people and you're gonna see results. And it's true. I think what's different about working with Jada is that you feel like you're really working with someone who loves and cares about you, <laughs> who truly wants what's best for you, where there's not any kind of I don't know, weird impatience about who you could be and how you could be and how to discover that. There's certainly, uh, what was really different is a lot, you know, again, I come from like a business background and a very professional background. I, you know, I have a lot of degrees and I'm, you know, this kind of gal. And I, I like a little woo, but not a lot of woo. And, you know, John has, you know, she likes to dance and do stuff. And I was like, what is this? It's, I'm not comfortable. I don't want to dance. And, you know, with her, because she's just so genuine and so real, you know, you dance (laughs) and you do it. And somehow things kind of do happen. So I think for me, it was nice to be with someone who really had a, um, the female perspective, which I really appreciate and enjoy, but also this other sort of way of being in the world that was a little different than how I usually am in the world. I'm a cynical New Yorker down to the down to the bone. And so I don't always do well with that sort of more, again, kind of wooey, what I consider woo sort of thing. And she made it accessible for me. She toned it down where she needed to and toned it and brought it up where she needed to and really helped me sort of break out of some of the boxes I was putting myself in. What I like best about working with Jada, there's a lot of things. I don't know if I can have a one best, but Again, her her integrity, her transparency, always transparent, always, always transparent, <laughs> always very clear with this is how many times we meet and this is the expectation and here's my boundary around that and here's your boundary around that. Like such clarity and I never felt or ever feel sold to or 
like she's trying to get something or anything. And even, you know, um, I offered to do this testimonial. She didn't ask me. I, I threw it out there. I mean, because she really, she's, she's that person who really gives, I love that she makes money. She should make money. She's helping people. She's helping us women, I think, especially, which is so needed. Um, so I like her big vision and I like her really her, her one-on-one -on -one vision. She can go from 50,000 feet to like right on the ground with you. And that's very special thing that not a lot of people have. I'd say overall, the most helpful message thing I got from Jada was this idea of scaling my business, of building it, of understanding, you know, every other coach I'd ever worked with, any other everything, they were just going right for the money. Like, you know, because that's what we all want, right? We want that ROI that I'm paying you and they feel that pressure and they want to give it back. And Jada gets that that's a lie. <laughs> That's not going to, that's not how it works. So she doesn't want to, she could, I'm sure, make gazillions of dollars doing that. And she doesn't, you know, she gets it that you have to scale the business. You have to be consistent. You have to know what you're doing. You have to love what you're doing. You have to be serving. You have to be serving yourself and others, you know, and that piece to me was so valuable to just take a breath, to slow down to really listen to myself and to understand that scaling was going to take a minute, that I was going to put into place things that were going to have ROI later. And to just understand that process and be patient with it, it was truly the first time I had someone walk me through that with confidence and clarity. And, and I believed, and it was good that I did. I truly feel like every woman would benefit working with Jada in some way. And I think it's especially great for anyone who just knows in their heart, they have something else to put out there. They have, there's another life they want. There's another way of working. They want, there's another way of interacting with their client base or with people in the world or whatever your thing is that they, they just want to do that differently. And they know they have something to give. They know they have something special and just aren't sure what the path is to make that happen. And, and there's so much noise, you know, there's so many people coming at you. Well, I've got the way I've got the way it's, it's this way. It's that way. And to have a place where you can, where you know that all those, all that noise is what's getting in the way and you can feel it. And maybe like me, you would try a million other things and you're thinking, Oh, I'm so tired of, you know, spending money and not seeing anything. Uh, I think this is for you. That is, so if you're at the very beginning of a business and you're really not sure how to kind of create that, or even, you know, again, if you were, I've been doing it for many years in different ways and was just looking to level up. Uh, so I feel like, you know, she, cause she's so able to meet you where you're at, not where she needs you, wants you to be. She's there to meet you where you are and where you'd like to be. And her thing is about, well, how do you get to this place you say you want? And she helps you define what you want, which is great. So I've sent so many people to Jada over the years because in all kinds of different ways, you know, from the very beginning to way in the middle to, to way at like kind of an end, you know, really making bank and just looking to, to do something else. Uh, so I really think depending on where you are in your journey, as long as you get that you have something that's special that you want to put out there, you're not even sure what the specialness is yet. You're not even sure how to quantify it. Uh, she can help you do that. And I think, you should be putting your message out in the world. So it's a good idea to follow through.